So normally, you know, I'm pretty good about stuff like this. I don't just go buy random things off the internet, uh, except for, uh, I will admit they got me. So the other day I was looking at my phone because it just had a random, some tone I never heard before. I opened it up and then I had an alert from Amazon and it said lightning deal. And I never even heard of a lightning deal. I was like, what the heck? So I looked at the lightning deal and it was for a keyboard. It was $10.73 and I was like, Phew. that was pretty cheap. So I, I got to, I, I, they, right there they got me. So I looked at it. And it said, you know, multicolor, backlit, gaming, mechanical feeling keyboard. And I was like, they're using all the right words. I got, I got to try this. So for $10.73, I picked up this. The box is very, uh, very plain, but this is a Rye RK100+. Plus. So we're going we're gonna to take a look at this thing and we're going to use it for a while. We're going to see if a $10.73 keyboard is uh, worth uh, anything. So let, let's see what comes in here. I won't say that I have high hopes, but you never know, man. This could be the new, the new meta keyboard, the, the new, the new sleeper. If I can open it and get it out. And all right, so let's see what we got going on here. Uh, so literally, we just got a keyboard, and we have a, a bag and some instruction manual, not needed. So let's plug it in and see what these, uh, these lights look like. I'll just plug it into my other keyboard. It's like Keyboard Inception. It's a keyboard within a keyboard. Okay, so it's not really bright at all right now. Let's see if it gets brighter. Uh, really, is that as bright as it gets, eh? So, what I normally use is this. This is my Corsair K70. And big fan. Love that, love that keyboard. Um, this is... Now, obviously that wasn't ten dollars and seventy three cents. This is just the Rye mechanical feeling keyboard, and I mean, it's it's I mean it's 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 you can tell that it was a uh, you can tell that it's a little cheaper. But you know, actually, just typing that with one hand, it doesn't really feel that bad for ten bucks, man. I expected way worse. It's got your kickouts. It's got some rubber pads keep it from sliding around. It's obviously backlit, it's not LED, it's just uh, multicolored. I think they probably did that to make it look LED online. So if you're just glancing, you'd think it was an RGB keyboard and you'd pick one up. Only to be disappointed when you figure out you can't change it. Uh, you can change the, it's, it seems like it's on off. Um, I don't see anything for brightness. Obviously I'm gonna test this for a while before we do the second part. But if I see, if, it, if I find you can turn it up, I will. Oh, it does have a Windows lock though. That is very, that might make it worth it on its own, because this thing has a Windows lock, and I uh, can't stress to you enough how important Windows lock is when you're playing games. So I might, I would just pay 10 bucks just for that. I'm not, I mean, not saying to get it yet, but I'm saying that is a great thing that they did. And I mean, it's not an, it's obviously not an actual mechanical keyboard, but I mean, yeah, it doesn't feel like that one, but it does feel good for a membrane keyboard. I mean, it, it's mechanical feeling. Eh, I mean, that's a bit of a stretch. I can see where they're, they're trying to get the little bump feel that you get on a mechanical keyboard. Um, meh. But it does feel pretty decent for, again, a $10 keyboard. So this keyboard does have a couple functions. Right here is your Windows lock button. To activate, you hit your FN key and your Windows button, and that will lock the Windows button so it can't be used during game. Right here, you have your LED controls, so you can either have them off or on and if you want to change how they're working you can hit the FN and the light control and you can set them to breathing. To change their brightness you hold the FN key and hit the page up or down so all the way down is off and then you have five settings of brightness level. Now if we get down nice and low you can see what we were talking about earlier that not every key has its own LED. Um, also these are not RGB they are set so your pattern of green, red, and blue 
is set, but as you can see, not every key is backlit. They have more of a spaced LED setting so that they can get the most coverage for the least amount of LEDs. So this keyboard is 435 millimeters long, 137 millimeters deep, and it is uh, 30 millimeters tall. And they do state that the keys are rated for 5 million clicks. Now this keyboard does have a little bit of flex. Um, it's more prevalent when you hold the board up and press down, but you can also feel it when you are typing that the center of the board does kind of want to buckle away from you. Uh, so it is noticeable a little bit. So we're back, and I've been using this thing for a few days in game, and um, let's be honest here. When I first seen the notification pop up from my Amazon account that said, hey, you want a gaming keyboard for 10 bucks? I was like, yeah, yeah, let's see how bad this could be. And uh, after using it, I was pretty wrong. I mean, this thing is actually halfway as decent. So uh, I normally use a K70 from Corsair, which I absolutely love. And you can definitely tell that these are not mechanical switches. They are membrane, but you know, they're not that bad. I mean, there is a difference between the two. If, you, if you're used to something like that, you're not gonna like this as much, but if you're getting ready to build a new computer on a tight budget and you need a tower uh, and everything goes in it, and you also need a monitor, a keyboard, a mouse, this is a great place to save some money to put towards you know, a better GPU or a better CPU or extra RAM. Because this thing's only 10 bucks, and if you go out and buy yourself you know, a K70 or another high-end keyboard, you're looking at 100, 150 bucks. And you know, right now it's not even it's not even on a lightning deal anymore. It's only seventeen dollars, and that's still a great price, considering how much money you'll save that you can put towards more important items on your new gaming PC. So, I went in thinking this was going to be, uh, but it actually turned out halfway decent, and I'm pleasantly surprised that this is actually something I would recommend if you're getting ready to build a PC on a budget. So thank you for watching. I hope you found this video interesting because I know I did, considering I thought this was going to suck, and it it doesn't really. It's actually pretty decent. So if you like this video, make sure to hit that thumbs up button, get subscribed, and I'll see you in the next one because we're going to keep on the lookout for things like this that look like they might be a little suspect, but turn out not.